Welcome back to Aeons and Legacy. We're playing Chapter 2 Among the Ruins with Death Maiden and Astria against right now Bladius. We've got him down to 26 health. Gravehold at 22 though and we have this voracious Corroders out here which do 2 damage every time. Alright, let's find out who's going to be going first in this uh, episode. Yeah, I just do one turn an episode. I know they're a little bit short sometimes but uh, that's all the time I have at the moment. All right, we're going to be doing one round. All right, who's up first? Astria. All right, Astria's got some spells prepped. Let's go over to her area and have her take her turn. All right, Astria has the Fire Chakram deal two damage. This is going to deal three damage. We're going to fire that off, three damage, and we're going to hit the Voracious Corroders for three. That's going to take them down to four health from seven and she has a spark and she'll fire the spark off as well on the voracious corroders that's going to take them down to three health all right what does she have in her hand it's one spark spell she'll prep that to uh yeah she's going to prep it here to open reach one she's going to leave this one free in case death maiden gets her neural uh, wreath uh, to let her prep a better spell she's going to spend four uh, ether right now she's going to get incinerating fist we need to get as many spells now i think as we can to start pounding away at minions and at bladius and that's going to be the end of her turn very quickly we're going to drop five new cards one two three four five for her next turn oh yeah two incinerating fists neural wreath life bringer all good stuff i think all right back to turn order all right, back to turn order time, and it's Death Maiden. All right, we're getting to go first, which is pretty good. Let's go to Death Maiden's area. Unfortunately, she doesn't have any prepped spells. All right, Death Maiden's turn. No prepped spells. But now she's got the Bug Zapper. She'll put that in Open Breach 1. She will prep the Gravity Node to Open Breach 4. That's going to be dealing 5 damage. She has 3 Aether remaining. Ah, uh, what does she want to do with three? I think we're just going to go, she's going to get, uh, we're just going to go all damage now. She's going to get the Fire Shocker deal two damage, costing two. That leaves one ether left over, but she can't spend one ether on anything. So we're going to discard her, all of her ether gems. Going to grab five, one, two, three, four, five for the next turn. She's only at three health. That's so dangerous. Neural net incinerating. This spark, spark, Kyanolith. All right. Okay, I think we're powering up the spells anyway. All right, that's the end of her turn very quickly. Back we go now to turn order. All right, back to turn order, and we knew it was coming. We knew it was coming. Nemesis. All right, I'm going to put the card here so I don't forget. All right, Persistent Gravehold suffers two damage. Gravehold is now down to 20 health. Okay. All right, and we have the Nemesis card to process Trevor. To discard, spend seven ether. Uh, oh man. To discard, okay, spend seven ether. That's a lot of ether to spend. I don't think we're going to be able to do it. Uh, oh wow, this is going to evolve too. Holy jumping. If you can't place an evolve sticker, read card E38. We have got to smack down Bladius as quick as possible. Power two. Uh, unleash twice, which means player with the fewest open reaches is going to take four damage, twi two damage twice. Gravehold suffers four. Then, if Gravehold has 13 life or more, evolve. Okay. Well, that is not going to do its thing until um, until power two. All right, power two. Eh? If you can't place an evolve sticker, recard. Okay. Um, we will be able to though. All right, that's, well, that's basically the Nemesis turn for now. So we're back to turn order. And all right, the Nemesis gets to go again. Holy jump. All right, that's not good. So we're gonna persistent, Gravehold suffers two damage. Okay, now I'm starting to get a little concerned. <laughs> got Gravehold now down to 18 health. I thought we were doing okay. Maybe we should have got rid of this guy. We probably could have. Uh, we're gonna put this down to power one, okay. Power one. Next time the nemesis goes, that's going to trigger. Uh, okay. 
don't like the sound of that. But yeah, we still have a Nemesis card to process. Oh man, come on. It's a Hate Hound. Persistent Grateful suffers three damage. Okay. Uh, they are starting to chew the living daylights out of Gravehold. We're going to have to do something about that. So 7 health on this guy. Uh, but now I think we have... Uh, our players are going to be taking the rest of the turns for this round. Alright, up next we have Death Maiden. Death Maiden, not impressed. So let's have her take her turn. Oh yeah, things ramping up here pretty darn quickly. All right, Gravity Node. Any player discards a card in hand if they do deal four damage. We are going to have Astria discard her one crystal because it kind of is not going to do her too much good. Uh, and then any player discards a card in hand if they do deal four damage, plus one, five damage. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to do the 5 damage to the Hate Hound. From 7 health, we're going to knock it right down to 2, which is good stuff. So, down to 2 health. Alright, and then down to 2 health, we're going to use Bug Zapper, deal the damage. Uh, this to a minion, deal an additional damage. That gets rid of the Hate Hound completely. It is destroyed. Excellent stuff, because that was going to do a lot of damage to Gravehold persistently. And now we have uh, Death Maiden. She's going to put Incinerating Fist, open Breach 3. She'll put a couple of Sparks out. Um, she has two to spend for this, so she will get another Fire Chakram for two. Why not? And Neural Wreath. Focus any player's Breach. Any player can prep a spell in hand. Well, she's going to have Astria prep a spell in hand. So I think it's going pretty well. Alright, over we go here to Astria. She's going to prep a spell in hand. Well, she might as well prep one of her two incinerating fists to open breach. Or, that's pretty good stuff. Back we go to uh, Death Maiden to finish off her turn. Alright, and Death Maiden's going to finish off her turn by putting her cards in any order. So she'll put them back in this order. Alright. One, two, three, four. All crystals. Flipping her deck over. She's going to get the top card. Fire Chakram. Alright, that's the end of Death Maiden's turn. And now, we go back to turn order. Alright, turn order time. Up last, Astria. Astria is going to be bringing some pain. Alright, let's go to Astria. Have her take her turn. Alright, Astria's turn. Astria's going to use Incinerating Fist 3, 4 damage. The 4 damage she's going to do to Bladius. Taking Bladius down to 22 health. Going to take this guy out. The Spark Spell, we are also going to... Where should we put the Spark Spell? Um, let's do the Spark Spell to the Voracious Corroders from 3 health down to 2. Now she's going to play cards in hand. She's going to put the Incinerating Fist in Open Breach uh, 4. Uh, the Neural Wreath, uh, which is cool. Focus any player's Breach. Any player may prep a spell in hand. She's going to go have uh, Death Maiden prep a spell. Let's go over there and have her do that. Alright, this is working out perfectly. So Death Maiden can prep a spell. She's going to prep the Fire Chakram to open Breach 1. And as you can see, Death Maiden has a lot of spells prepped. Back we go to Astri to finish off her turn and the episode for today. Alright, I think this is working out fairly nicely. She's played the Neural Wreath. Lifebringer gain an Aether, which is going to do her no good. If you have three or more open breaches, she does gain one life. So she's going to go right up to full health. From 9 health to 10. And health. Excellent stuff. Going to put her cards in any order. She'll put the Neural Wreath in Lifebringer. Getting her next hand for the next episode. Fire Chakram. Just going to flip this over. Two more. It's going to be Fire Chakram and Spark. So as you can see, <clears throat> as my voice goes, I think we are going to be bringing as much pain as possible, as quickly as possible, to Ladius. All right, we're going to zoom out, and that was very quickly our episode for today. All right, I'm feeling 
relatively confident that we're going to take Gladius down. He has 22 health left. We have the potential to dole out lots of damage coming up in the following episodes. Now you're probably wondering, why did I not take out the Voracious Crows? Why didn't I just wipe them out? Well, I didn't because uh, when Tremor triggers, which will happen as soon as the Nemesis goes again, Gravehold's going to suffer 2 damage. Okay, that's alright. It's going to go from uh, 18 health down to 16, and then uh, someone's going to take 4 damage. Uh, and Gravehold will suffer 4 damage. So this is going to take Gravehold to 12 damage. Then it says if Gravehold has 13 or more life, which it will not, you evolve. Uh, so the evolve is not going to happen. So that's why I left the Voracious uh, Corroders alive. Maybe it's foolhardy? I don't know, because maybe the next uh, Nemesis card that comes up says Gravehold suffers 10 damage, and then we lose the game. But uh, that's a risk I'm going to take. Of course, I've not played this before, because I'm doing the Legacy uh, sort of blind playthrough here as I start from start to finish. It's unfolding for me as you're watching here. It's unfolding for you if you've never played the game either. So anyway, thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, likes. This is Aeon's End Legacy Chapter 2 Among the Ruins. We've got Death Maiden. We've got Astria fighting in the tunnels against Bladius. Can they take him down? I sure hope so. Uh, so we'll find out in the following episode. So thanks so much and we'll see you in the next episode.